Hey there, record collectors. I'd like to introduce to you yet another Canadian obscurity. This is the jazz fusion progressive band Horn, who hailed from Toronto, Ontario. This is their only LP, uh, released in 1972, titled On the People's Side. I believe it was recorded in 1971, and it was released on GRT. Uh, the style, I guess, is kind of fusion, jazz fusion, progressive, uh, very Zappa-influenced Mothers of Invention. You'll notice that in the opening cut that I'll play from a side one titled Things in Themselves. I'm also going to flip it over and play the opening cut off side two titled Pony Buns. Now, as far as people within the band here, anybody notable, let's go look at the credits here. Instantly, I recognize a couple of names. Um, trumpet Wayne Jackson, he was with Downchild Blues Band during the 70s. Um, the drummer Bill, uh, Bill Bryans, I th I'm pretty sure that's the same guy that played in the Parachute Club. They were kind of like a post, uh, new wave, sort of early 80s Canadian band, Parachute Club. Uh, I don't recognize anybody else's names here. However, um, the producer, or sorry, special thanks to Moses Nymer. Nymer, I think that's how you pronounce that, or is it Znymer? Um, his name is synonymous with Canadian television. He launched uh, City TV back in the early 1970s, around 1972, the time this was released. I guess during that point in time, there were so many licenses um, on, on VHF, on that frequency, so he, I think he launched the first UHF station in Toronto called City TV. Um, later, of course, he spearheaded, and I, I forget who the other guy was that went with him, and they, they kind of started up Canada's version of MTV called Much Music, and I think that was launched in about 1983 or 84. I also recall seeing his name on a couple of earlier Lighthouse LPs. They were a horn rock band from Toronto. Um, and I guess the, the theme here, it's kind of a concept LP. I, I'm pretty sure it's Depression Era related in terms of some of the lyrics, lyrical content, and that sort of thing. There's even a letter here to the then um, Canadian Prime Minister, um, that would be uh, R.B. Bennett, Richard Bedford Bennett. Um, I think he was from the East Coast, New Brunswick, Canada. But he was Canada's pr Prime Minister from 1930 to 1935, by which point when he was voted out, he moved to England and he became Viscount Bennett. And I live in Calgary, and there's actually a high school called, or was high school here, called Viscount Bennett several years back. I'll let you have a look at the labels. So, not the standard GRT, which was that um, red and white label of that era. This one actually says Special Records, uh, distributed by GRT of Canada. And there you see the opening cut, Things in Themselves. So I'll start with that, and then I'll flip it over and play Pony Buns off the other side. All right. There we go.